from. So this is uh, this is basically a case study. Uh, just trying to tell you what we've done, uh, what we've done, and what were the results and what were the conclusions that, that we made. So just a bit of, of the of a background about the program. So uh, this scientist training program is a, is a three year program, which is an equivalent of a part time MSc, and it is in clinical bioinformatics. So basically, it's people working in rural hospitals in the UK uh, who are uh, receiving training. Um, they basically, they are coming to Manchester to receive training, but Manchester is the center where they uh, where they come to. And we made uh, software and data carpentry training part of their official curriculum. So obviously, back then, Vanieri told you about software and data carpentry, so I don't need to. They come in year two, so it's round halfway through their studies when they come to, to <coughs> receive this specific uh, specific training. So uh, the first students are now reaching the end of uh, the end of their training, and uh, basically what have we learned uh, from the training we received so far? How did we measure the impact of these per, uh, workshops? So first of all, uh, I didn't. I didn't measure the impact or I didn't run the surveys around, uh, around the workshops. It was done by the people who run the, the STP program. So, but I managed to draw some conclusions from the, from the that they provided. So, basically, we've done the usual pre and post workshop uh, questionnaires, uh, the usual post and, uh, pre and post workshop uh, software and data carpentry questionnaires that Vanieri uh, explained. However, we've also done a bit more compre comprehensive long-term survey, basically trying to, uh, to, to figure out what are the training, trainings doing now. So we've, uh, because software and data carpentry teaches uh, researchers how to use various computational tools, we wanted to check which tools of those that we taught them are they still using six or 12 months on uh, after attending the training. What we've also done is we've done some face-to-face -face interviews, and we also that, uh, did some video recordings of, of those interviews. Uh, I've also met a lot of the train, a of the trainees. I've, I've met at some uh, various events after the workshops we've done. So I met them at conferences, various technical workshops. So I got loads of feedback face-to-face -face from them, uh, but that, that wasn't any, uh, that wasn't part of the official um, collecting. Of so what, what made it easier for us is that the cohort of students that we were interviewing were still very much together after we've done our uh, long-term survey. So they were still there, a group of people who work together and collaborate on a regular basis, despite being not being placed in the same place or in the same hospital. Um, there were a small group of people who work and collaborate with each other and um, also, I think, face-to-face -face interviews and video recordings were done in a, in a very uh, professional uh, setup, and I think that helped as well because we had a professional filming crew uh, coming to film them in Manchester, and uh, also those videos were you know, later made part of the courses uh, MOOC at Future Learn. So what I think also helped is the fact that they really liked those software data carpentry workshops that we did for them, and I think they made, made them more keen to provide feedback and they were more keen to, to come and, and talk to us, um, uh, to be videoed and, and interviewed by us and prodded and, and, and pricked by us. Uh, so, yeah, it definitely makes it easier when, when to measure the success when you actually have a successful event to, to measure. Um, so, just some of my thoughts about positive and negative feedback, and I think you mentioned that, that, that as well. So I think I think you mentioned the fact as well that people are uh, tend to be more willing to provide uh, feedback either when they have something very positive to say or when they have something negative to say. And I think it's the same when I think about how I provide feedback. If I'm really happy with an event, then I'm I'm very keen to, to provide good feedback to tell the people who run or, or run or organize events what a good job they've done. When it comes to negative feedback, I think I either tend not to provide feedback at all uh, if I don't have
have a constructive solution how things can be improved, I tend to either not respond at all or maybe just say something in the neutral neutral region, which is probably not good because I think organizers may, may, may want to hear the negative feedback as well. Uh, so also, for example, uh, because we videoed people, it is, people are sometimes self-conscious self or shy, and if they have something positive to say, they might be more willing to, to, to come to be filmed. I know I, I probably would want to be recorded <laughs> with a camera. Please do that often. <laughs> we did say yes. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs>
people to do online training, and they've made these videos available as well. Is this for music for multimedia? Is it just to collect? No, no, it will. Uh, I, I personally will not involve in, in filming and videoing or interviewing. So I only had a look at those videos after they, they've been done. Uh, so I, I'm not quite sure whether, whether they were collecting feedback or just doing maybe some promotional videos or both, because they also had to justify the program itself. The people who run the program had to justify to the NHS and the Higher Education England uh, the success of this of this program, because it's not a standard program, so this Dr. Nate Carpentry workshops were not uh, up to them, were not part of the standard curriculum. So, um, and I think it's, it's not just these workshops, because they had the uh, they built, they built a bit of a program around those software data carpentry workshops. So they extended, instead of doing the two-day workshops, they were doing a week-long um, training session in, in Manchester. So they were doing all sorts of agile programming and all other techniques that are not part of the core mm -hmm. software or data carpentry curriculum. And people responded <coughs> to, to the whole week. I'd say. 